Morning folks, Bill here. I just want to show you guys that are using fibre laser machines how to get a really jet black engrave on stainless steel. I've got these parameters off a YouTube channel called Laser Everything run, run by a chap called Alex. If you haven't seen it already, it's well worth a visit. He's got uh, tons of videos on there, loads of information. Um, he's very receptive to questions as well and he's got a Discord channel. So it's worth, uh, it's worth popping over there if you're new to fibre lasering. But if you're after just a quick fix to how to get uh, a super black engrave on stainless steel, just stick around for a couple of minutes and I'll show you. So these are your settings that you will need to put on your EasyCAD program. So we need two hatch patterns. We need one and two. So hatch pattern one, we've got set at 45 degrees. We've got this pattern and the line distance of uh, 0 0.02 hatch 2, enable that one makes exactly the same pattern here line distance but we've got a 0 for, uh, sorry a negative 45 angle hatch pattern so once you've done that we need to head over to the settings the power settings etc you need one pass at this speed 50, power 35 frequency 25 and this is for a 30, uh, 30 watt machine the last tip which is the most important whatever thickness your material is you need to offset the focal height by three millimeters so this is one so I've offset this focal point by three and I've set it up for on my part height Don't ask me what it does, why that does that, it just works. So set up your thing, get the ball rolling. And once that's done its thing, you'll get this superb jet black finish on your stainless steel. Now one thing I will say is my machine is slightly out of focus, I think, the Z height to the bed it's not exactly zero so what's happened is when I first set this up this first one I did I set the offset by three so I had a focal length of four mil and you can see this patch here where it's just not quite well it's not black at all it's more of a sort of a yellowy greeny yellow color what I did was as it was still in motion as it's still engraving I just jogged the head down slightly so if you find you're getting this sort of shading, just jog your head up or down just a tad until it starts coming through jet black. And once it's set, it's set then for multiple multiple jobs. So it's obviously best to try it on a um, test piece first. This stuff is super tough. Once it's on there, it's on. It's not coming off. I've rubbed this with uh, Scotch Bright, and it just it just stays on. So even though you can't feel it it's just on there it's absolutely incredible I think the science behind this I could be wrong here is when you're engraving you're putting that sort of heat into it it's bringing out the carbon in the steel and the carbon's coming to the top so as you can see on this one this one I'd set the head to the foot, uh, the height of the steel, and then this black one is with it offset by three millimeters. Same with that. See how that's sort of a browny colour. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. That's sort of a browny colour. Uh, is this one's jet black? Jet black. And this is just some other test I was doing. There's another jet black one. So it's a really good set of settings that. So I hope you found that useful. Like I say, hop onto uh, Alex's channel, Laser Everything. He's got tons and tons of stuff on there. If you're just starting out, it's where I've been and where I've got these settings. Uh, so anyway, yeah, cheers folks. Hope you found that useful. See ya.